Hey, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Vintage Toy Synthesizer as a standard MIDI controller, specifically showing how it could control MIDI software such as Logic Pro and Ableton Live. Uh, so this is a follow-on from the previous video which shows how it can be used in its primary function which is as a standalone digital synthesizer, so make sure you check that one out too. So as a MIDI controller, uh, the Vintage Toy Synth can send note messages from the keyboard and they're velocity sensitive note messages. It can also send polyphonic after touch or key pressure from the keyboard, which is a fairly rare but expressive feature of MIDI that allows notes to be modulated individually, usually by applying pressure to keys after the key has been struck. And the final type of MIDI message that the synth can send is CC messages, which come from the panel. So changing any of the um, knobs will send a different CC message. Uh, so the synth can be connected to any MIDI gear through the standard 5-pin DIN MIDI connectors which are on the back. So let's uh, demo what it can do. So here I've got Logic Pro open and I've got the synth connected to it. So first I'm just going to show how the keyboard could trigger uh, just standard notes. So these aren't velocity sensitive. <laughs> keyboard controls that you can see here on the synth, uh, they control what MIDI notes are sent out. So here we, this was a major pentatonic scale, uh, you could just have a standard chromatic scale, got some uh, minor scales here. This one is the blue scale. And of course you've got um octave as well. So and transpose, which transpose is the notes by semitone. You get the idea. So now I'm going to demonstrate uh, velocity sensitive notes. So I'm just going to choose a uh, difference from that logic. And then you'll see as I press uh, the keys softer and harder, uh, it changes the timbre of the sound. So that's velocity sensitivity, and then we have polyphonic aftertouch. So uh, this is going to demonstrate how once I've struck the key and created a note, I can then apply varying amounts of pressure to each key individually to modulate the notes individually. So for example... And finally, I'm just going to demo um, another velocity sensitive, another velocity, velocity sensitive demonstration. This time with the Abbey Road Studio CFX Concert Grand Piano Sampler Instrument, which is one of the most realistic uh, piano sampler instruments I've come across. And it just makes sense to, for it to be played by a mini toy grand piano. <laughs>
So that's all the MIDI messages that you could send from the keyboard. Um, so let's move on to the panel, and the panel can only send one type of message. Uh, that's CC, so each, pa each uh, knob on the panel sends a different CC. Uh, so I'm going to demo this in Ableton where mapping CC is a little bit easier. So here I've got a bass sound. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is use Ableton's uh, MIDI mapping feature. I'm going to select the resonance parameter of the software synth. Then I'm just going to touch the resonance knob on the synth. It could be any knob. Uh, but there you can see there it's mapped CC19. So I'm going to select the frequency parameter and touch the frequency knob. Move MIDI mode, and now you'll see as I touch the knobs, it's uh, controlling the parameters on the software synth. So that just demonstrates that the vintage toy synth can be used not only as a standalone synthesizer but as a uh, MIDI controller. Uh, thanks.